Hi everyone! Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Mr. Melvin, an art teacher from Wisconsin. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. Hello and welcome to Mr. Melvin Makes! Today I'm going to be working on a portrait looking up and I'm going to be making a sort of 4th of July themed self-portrait. For my drawing today, I'm going to need a pencil and eraser. I'm going to be using crayons for color and Sharpie for outline. But I've got one sort of special trick up my sleeve today. For my background in the sky, I'm going to be using a simple printmaking or stamping technique using cardboard, scissors, yarn, and washable paints. Okay, so my first decision now is whether I want my paper portrait up and down or landscape side to side. The reason I'm choosing landscape for this project, even though it's a self-portrait, is I want more room for my background for my uh, final step. So I chose to orient or position my paper landscape and I'm starting with step number one and now working into step number two. A line with a bump, kind of like a triangle in the middle, gives me my cheeks and my nose and then connecting um, both ends of that line with a half circle or U-shaped line gives me the detail of my chin and the shape of my face. Next I add two dots inside of that bump or triangle shape. Those are your nostrils, not your eyes. So those are your nostrils if you can imagine looking straight up so that you can see clear into your nose, all the bats in the caves and that fun stuff. From there I add a half circle for the mouth, um, open like it's happy or like I'm happy. And then I just add details for my shoulders, um, neckline, and I add in a tongue with a couple simple lines. From there I'm going to use a sharpie to outline. Remember it's always a good idea to have something under your paper when you outline with permanent marker. So I've got my drawing board under my paper and I'm going to go ahead and do that. As I'm doing this, please pay attention to some creative choices I make. All right, as I finish this up, I want to talk about some choices I made and how you can think about choices you'll make as you make your looking up portrait as well. So the first thing I chose to do was I chose to make my portrait a self-portrait, meaning rather than a portrait of just any old person, it's a portrait of me. Uh, makes it a little bit more personal, a little bit more special that way. Um, you could still do a portrait of a friend, family member, teacher, anyone you care about, or you can draw yourself. So that was one choice that I made. Another was um, adding details to make it look more like myself. So rather than keeping it plain and simple, I have turned this into myself with all my you know, features, my mustache, nose ring, clothes I would wear, hat I would wear, hairy arms, all that good stuff that makes Mr. Melvin Mr. Melvin. In your drawing, remember that you have ultimate choice of your background and everything else. Uh, so I'm going to go forward and make this a beautiful sky filled with fireworks, but you might decide to make your sky a little bit different. Perhaps your portrait is looking up at mm, just simple stars. It's a simple stargazer. That could be a beautiful picture. Maybe your portrait is looking up at an alien who is abducting them. That could be a really cool creative picture. Think about what you want your person looking up to the skies at I'm thinking about the 4th of July, you might see that in my outfit here. So I'm going to fill my sky with fireworks. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use cardboard, yarn, and paint to actually do a pretty simple printmaking technique and stamp a pattern across the sky. If you have those supplies at home or could get them easily, it would be great for you to try it, follow along with me. Otherwise, no, you can finish any picture however you want. Paint the rest, color the rest with crayons, your choice. I want you to pay attention here. Just one final word before I get started on my sky. I took the time to add in some color blending from light blue to blue violet to violet to black. I could have just colored this whole sky in black to make my night sky, but I know people are going to recognize the work I took to 
show this color blending and I bet I'm going to even receive compliments on it. So uh, sometimes hard work pays off and aspects like that you might really wow someone if you take a little bit of extra time in your art show them that you mean business as an artist uh, and I know that you do because I believe in you so there we have it that is me that is my self-portrait let's get started on our stamps Alright, as I clean up my drawing supplies here, I just want to take a moment to echo something that I think was really important that I said, and that is that I do believe in all of you as artists. Whether you're a beginner or an expert, I think it's important to take risks and try new things, um, and we have to allow ourselves time to be a learner, take a risk, make a mistake, and, uh, and just have fun while we do it. So let's talk about a new way we can have fun as I finish this drawing. I'm going to use this cardboard here to make a simple stamp as a printmaking technique. This is cardboard I got from a package delivered to my house and I'm just cutting it into an equal square. From there I'm cutting tiny lines or slits across the square kind of equally spaced out from each other. So I'm starting in all four corners then doing the middle of all four sides and just for fun I might add a couple more in between to make equally spaced cuts all the way around this square. Next I'm going to thread or kind of like floss this thick yarn I've got through those cuts and I'm going to do that in a pattern that I find interesting. What's really fun about this is you can play around and experiment with different patterns and make your own creative line design. I'm just going, uh, kind of going to make a star like this one and um, since I've got two squares, I'm actually going to go forward and make a second star, um, kind of in the more traditional five-pointed star, just like that one right there. Next, I'm going to go ahead and get out my paint supplies. For this printmaking technique, I'm going to be using just water-based uh, washable paints. Uh, so to keep my area clean, I've got newspaper down, I've got a cup with water in it, and I've got paper towel. Today I'm using the primary colors just because I think it could be cool if I got some color mixing, sorry, can't speak right now, just naturally happening using those primary colors. So one at a time I am adding those colors onto the yarn, not the cardboard, the yarn um, of my stamp. And you can see how important it is that I wash my brush each time I get a new color. Um, if you're new to painting, you want to make sure you do that and be aware that you're doing that because you don't want to mix the colors you've got. You really only got those ones. If you end up putting blue in your yellow, well, you'll find some green and you might not be too happy about that. So I'm adding in my color, or colors rather, my primary colors, washing my brush each time. And in a second here, we're going to see what happens as I finish adding paint to the yarn. Oh, did you see that? As I pressed my stamp onto the paper, the paint on the yarn transferred the design onto the paper. This is a simple but really fun printmaking technique that I would call stamping. Um, so after you're done and happy with your design, give it some time to dry in a space where um, that is safe and appropriate, and um, you can go ahead and start to clean up as I'm showing here. One lesson learned as you look at my finished product is less is more. I would have loved to press my stamp onto my paper multiple times, many times, but if I would have done that, it would have created a very messy picture. With three fireworks above my self-portrait, I think I have a good use of space that is not interrupted by lots of chaotic color. Um, so I'm really happy with how it turned, off, um, turned out, even though I would have loved to have made more stamps. Um, if you were able to follow along with me and had the supplies at home, know that you can save those for another time. Take the yarn off the cardboard and let it dry somewhere else. And um, keep it in mind in case you want to do stamping like this again in your own creative way. I'd love to see what you came up with today as you followed along with Mr. Melvin Makes. 
If you were just watching to enjoy, then I hope you enjoyed and take care.